Kalima, Doomsday. I suppose... Since we're not going to attack Denmark yet, we should probably split off our light ships. So we're going to split you in half. We're going to split you in half again. You guys go home at war, collect from trade, or protect trade in the Lubeck node. You guys go home at war, protect trade in the Baltic. You guys, I'm going to split you in half. You guys, I want you to go home at war, protect trade in the North Sea. And you guys protect trade in the English Channel. Okay. God, freaking France, defender of the freaking Catholic faith. That would have been amazing. Well, we got Hessian separatists. What province are they in? Cassell. Alright, I gotta go deal with that real quick. Who declared war on Bohemia? I totally missed that. Did someone declare war on Bohemia? I thought it said somebody declared war on Bohemia with the Imperialism CB, but... Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I guess we crushed the rebel threat. I might have to stand there a little longer to actually completely get rid of them. Oh no, there's no unrest there now. Nice. Okay. Annexing Saxony is more than halfway done. Austria is looking pretty chill. Munster still not quite in fossilization territory yet. Bremen doesn't have any new allies yet. Oh, just Flanders and Lubeck. Oh man, a really good general's gone. What is our army tradition? 35 is pretty decent, but I'm wondering if the nobility might be able to give us a better general. 20 influence that puts them on the border of dangerous. Um, yeah, let's grant them a generalship. Yeah, that, that worked out all right. Not a fantastic general, but a more than okay general. All right. <laughs> Can already tech again in two different categories. France, I will allow you. I will actually allow you because I kind of think that maybe you're going to end up being a future ally. Election, we're going to go with the military candidate because we are currently working on a military idea set. Tactical genius. I like it. We've got Conrad Pape. He is a rare Pape indeed. Okay, integrating Saxony. Fantastic. Look at that. So we're going to be way over our force limit now. Let's disband these guys. Might have actually been better to keep them as a vassal until this war was over, but... We're still over by three, so we're going to disband... Two infantry... And a cannon. We can also make Turingia into a state. And what is the... Oh yeah, they have a very high autonomy, so we are going to definitely run a monthly autonomy change edict. How are our other edicts doing? What are we running? Oh yeah, that's the development cost. No edict, don't need it. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, that's still doing something. Cool. We have another state we can make. South Saxony. I just want to sell that to Brandenburg. Like, I don't really need it. Brandenburg. Um, sell province. Wittenberg. You want it? The price is right. Do you want it? They do not want it at all. Okay. We're going to keep it as a territory. <laughs> and we need to... Do we, we don't have a CB on them currently, do we? Let's uh, let's build a spy network. Oh, is Bremen a free city? No, they're not a free city. So Austria shouldn't automatically want to protect them. Oh, they're mad at us again because we annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Is that just the Emperor or is that everyone? That's everyone. Okay. <laughs> so we may need to further delay this war a little bit. <laughs> Still, I mean, look at that. Look at look at the regional power we've become. That's, that's pretty impressive. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I think we're going to record for like 15 more minutes here because I actually want to post this at a reasonable time today. It's already pretty late in the afternoon, and people are wondering, where's the EU4? Because we didn't post any last week. Um, oh. These are the guys. Okay, yeah, so they're not they're not going to want to be our vassal for a while now. No coalition, from what I can tell. Hmm, and I might actually want to, I might want to tack before we buy any more ideas, um, because that's, that's a pretty significant Caroline infantry and, uh, the better cavalry, that's gonna make a huge difference in our next war. Russia? Sure. Nevers? I don't care, you're not important enough. Is there anyone else nearby? Okay, Cologne, I think, is an elector, so they're never going to want to join us. Würzburg. Is a vassal of Bohemia. Mainz is, I believe, an elector. Oh, they're not an elector. Cologne, Frankfurt, Trier. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do that. We've got two Diplo slots left. Let's get Mainz in here. Fantastic. I don't know if they'll ever accept vassalization, but we'll, we'll get them as an ally for the time being. And we're going to improve relation with them. We also need to make sure we're keeping our relationship up with Brandenburg. Also got a lot of forts. <laughs> so I'm hoping our army tradition is going to continue to increase at a good pace. Looks like uh, some Frankfurtian peasants. We can promote some mercantilism again. We're capped out on Diplo. Yeah, I think we're going to try to tech again before we, uh... Oh, shoot. We're, uh... Not making a lot of admin at all. It's alright, though. For now, at least. Alright. Austrian Barometer. Do your job. Yeah, you know, once we once we get these guys to like us, I think we're gonna get Brandenburg back to a better plus fifty's a little bit shaky. I 
See, if you guys would just accept vassalization from us, none of this would have ever had to happen. Denmark's building a spy network and all that. Oh, well, this has been this has been a productive se session. Oh, we can probably promote some cultures too. Yeah, Saxon. Promote Saxon culture. Sweden no longer considers us a rival. Oh shit. Um. Would they ally with us? Oh, they're allied to Brabant. Who is our rival. So they don't like that. We are the enemy of their enemy, though. Which is good. Also, we need to have at least a neutral opinion of them. And we freaking hate them right now. Um, let's take a look at our state. So... No... Okay, so siding with the... Nobility would put them in the 70s, which is dangerous. So I think we're going to side with the clergy on this one. And then we'll call it Dia to keep the nobles happy. At least a couple years away. In 18 or 16, uh, 1686, we'll tech again. It's the most efficient way to do it. It's funny because I used to tech ahead of time all the time, and then I actually like ran some numbers on it and was like, "Oh, I should, actually shouldn't do that." <laughs> you save yourself so much uh, monarch power over the course of a game if you don't tech early, ever. I'm usually willing to accept like a plus five tech uh, penalty, but yeah, it was a good point. You know what you're talking about. We hire you guys because you know what you're talking about. Okay. So we're going to recall diplomat. We really need some more diplomats. I think we I think we did the right thing by taking quality ideas first, but... Yeah, we're, we're going to really want some more diplomats. Yeah, hold off on... Hold off on any further teching until we get uh, for any further uh, ideas until we can tech again. Mites, no, fuck off. Ooh, allows client states and advanced CBs. That'll be nice. We unlocked any new government types that we should be considering, by the way. Yeah, a constitutional republic. That is actually better, I think. If only slightly. Yeah, maybe we should become a constitutional republic. It'll probably make our absolutism go down even more, but I'm thinking that might actually help us. Denmark's diplomating around. All right. One more month until we can tech up. Yeah, this will work out pretty perfectly in terms of uh, being able to keep our military tech at pace. All right, measuring the world. I like it. Heavy frigates. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to a constitutional republic. So. Too few seats in Parliament. You need at least three states in Parliament, and you would need only one. All right, so let's see where our states are, because these mechanics do not interact well together. Um, states. So we could give... 
Cassell a seat in Parliament. Because they're Rhinish. So that'd help. They'd give the Rhinish a voice in our uh, government here. Where is the actual... Where, where is the seat in Parliament button? I have played Parliamentary so rarely. Oh, here we go. Give seat in Parliament. Um, oh, it gives local sailors, too. Is there any coastal city that we could give a seat in Parliament? Hamburg has a seat. We can't give any any of these Danish provinces. Can't give it to Hanover. Yeah, let's give let's give the Rhineish people a seat in Parliament. People of Cassel have been granted a seat in Parliament. We need at least three. Okay, so how about the Saxons? We're gonna sell that. Where's their biggest city? Leipzig. All right, Leipzig gets a seat in Parliament. We have no debate. Let's start a debate. No debates available. Let's wait until the start of the next month. I've seriously, the only time I've actually played, oh shit, nationalism CB, imperialism CB. The only time I've actually played uh, uh, as a parliamentary country was uh, um, when uh, I was testing it out and I started as England in like the... 30 years war start date or something and I played for like a half hour so this is actually pretty new to me other than just reading patch notes obviously which you guys know I frequently do okay so merchants trade power trade range development cost army tradition and army and uh, navy tradition decay land maintenance modifier um let's extend some officer commissions I like the idea of getting our, our tradition up so, chance to win 50%. Um, Hamburg is currently opposing this issue. You can bribe them to back the issue, but that will have the following effects. Point two corruption. I think we can survive that, actually. Lose 16 military power. Uh, they passed it. All right. Fantastic. For the next 10 years, we're going to extend some officer commissions. And, of course, we'll increase local defensiveness in our provinces. So, yeah, that'll that'll help our army tradition stay up during this long, dark period of not being able to go to war. How old is this guy? He's 57. We're going we're gonna to swap out candidates for a little bit just to keep our, our Republican tradition up. Babbling buffoon, dang it. We're gonna lose a little bit of money here while we're fighting corruption and we're done all right so that worked out looks like uh we have some room to raise some more armies here don't want to invest in an idea we want to do this first I don't think we even need to fabricate claims anymore because I think the CBs that we now have are far better. <laughs> oh, France is at war. Oh, they're in a big war. They're in a big war. Can we sneak in and kill Denmark? Can we sneak in and kill Denmark while they're distracted? Oh, shit. Okay, so 75, 175 for imperialism. 75, 200, 100. Cleansing of Heresy is actually a better CB. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to go dropkick France. Or, I mean, <laughs> France. Denmark. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Now, are they at war too? Oh, they're at war with Sweden. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, yeah, we're gonna call Brandenburg in. Mainz and Munster aren't gonna come. That's fine. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be just great. Okay. So next time, <laughs> hate to leave you on a cliffhanger. Ah, oh, let's just kill him. <laughs> I won't leave you guys on a cliffhanger. All right. 
Oh, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. And we're not taking Imperial Territory. So we don't need to worry about penalties for taking Imperial Territory. We're going to have to tech up during the war again. This is the, s the second time that we've had to completely uh, revamp the army while fighting the Danes. Um, but we'll make it happen. Uh, okay. Oh, and we probably want to bring our trade fleets home, if possible. Don't get caught. Don't get caught by the Danish Navy. Did they get caught? They got caught by the Danish Navy, but there's also some Swedes here. So, let's take our speed down to three. Let's nab these guys, and let's go, uh, let's go help the Swedes sink the Danish fleet. Okay, they, they won anyway, but... How many ships do we lose? Like, five? That's acceptable. We're about to get a bunch more coastal provinces. With which to wage our wars. Eight, fifteen, eight, twelve. Now, I'll wait, I'll wait to build any more ships till after the war. Speed four. Not too worried about it. Okay, Brandenburg is on the way. I don't think they have designs on any of this, but let's just make this perfectly clear for the moment. Um, that uh, this shit's ours. Yeah, okay. We've already made that perfectly clear to them. That's fine. Wait for our ships to repair, and then I think we'll go go a blockading. Trade research is heretical. Uh, we'll accept their demands. Oh, we can tech. Fantastic. All right, so we are going to go with, I believe the Caroline Infantry are the best. 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Yeah, Caroline Infantry for sure. And then we want... Probably let... I don't know, maybe Army Blanche Cavalry. Because they have a very high shock rating. Yeah. I like going with the really aggressive ones. Oh, shit. So they still have a fleet, so we're going to land and get a freaking... Siege of Coldings over... We're going to get an Admiral up in here. Okay, now we're ready to fight. And Sweden... Sweden stole our thunder, but uh, we're just going to wait here for their <laughs> fleet to pop out of port. And, uh, yeah. How about that? I'm actually going to start buttering up Sweden immediately. This great northern alliance is what we've we've wanted this whole time. We won the battle. Let's go repair our boats. And I think we can just send our armies home, honestly. Oh, we forgot a cannon. Sorry, guys. I know you wanted to be in the war and everything. Yeah, we'll let we'll go ahead and let Sweden enforce their demands or whatever. I think if if we let them enforce their demands and like cut Denmark down to size, then we can go in and occupy the capital and all that good stuff, and um, we'll actually be able to get more out of the war than we can with. 36 war score. And then hopefully begin the uh, era of glorious Swedish Hamburgian cooperation. Let's 
See, I wish I could transfer this to someone else who was fighting them. Like, I'd be able, I'd like to be able to transfer this province to Sweden. Because I know they want it. I don't know. What can we get? What can we get with what we have right now? Or just, like, at least tell Brandenburg, like, don't, just leave it alone, dude. Like, just leave it, just leave it alone. I'm gonna blockade as many of their provinces as I can, and then... Can we take all of this? We actually could. Um, more reparations, humiliate. How about just humiliate? Yeah. Really like to be able to humiliate him. That'd be that'd be awesome. Let's see if Sweden pieces out. Let's give it a give it a sec. Let's give it a hot minute here. Are we gaining? We are gaining ticking war score, so. Wait to see if Sweden pieces them out. France is doing something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Probably can uh, build a build a bit more infantry. Oh, not quite yet, actually. And we didn't even raise war taxes, but we are trying to complete a military idea group right now, so that's probably for the best that we didn't raise war taxes. So that's good to know. On on pace, you can get three with this this setup you can get three ideas in and still be able to keep on tech with military so we'll probably what is the next level of military tech covered way yeah we'll probably we'll probably go ahead and finish the idea group before we uh tech again we can fall behind a little bit if it's okay cool so uh we'll let brandenburg go do this <laughs> Printing press gives benefits. Fantastic. We're also going to put it on speed five. Leibniz! Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz was a German philosopher, mathematician, and political advisor, important to both as a metaphysician and as a logician, and distinguished also for his independent invention of differential and integral calculus. Born in Leipzig in 1646, he eventually ended up in the service of John Frederick, Duke of Braunschweig, Lüneburg. But he is now in the uh, service of the Parliament of the Free City. Well, it's not really a free city anymore. Of the... What are we? The Republic of Hamburg, I guess? Yeah, the Republic of Hamburg. Um, Parliament is constantly exploring the different ways to bring more money into our state treasury, but as always, there are disagreements regarding the best strategy. A heavy tax raise would improve the state of our treasury considerably, but is also very likely to upset the populace. A small raise, on the other hand, wouldn't improve our finances as much, but wouldn't cause that many protests either. Let's uh, let's consider the long-term consequences here. I think that's uh, that's the wise thing to do. I wonder if we can vassalize Denmark. That'd be fucking hilarious. They might be small enough to vassalize at this point. Anti-clericalism. Um, clergy. Okay. Um... Let's... Clergy gains 10 influence. Doesn't quite put him in the danger zone. Burgers lose 10 influence. Let's force him to pay. Okay, so we have Denmark over a barrel. Oh, they're still born home. I don't know if any of our, I don't know if any of our friends have boats. One, two, three, four. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Too many. Uh, get on, get on the boat. Let's go. Let's go occupy this shit. Well, I actually have an army here. Pretty sure we'll be all right. And Torsius, whatever, Alaska, good for them. Morale of navies. Okay, we should. Oh yeah, there's Danish Coronia that we forgot about. We're at 99%. Do we really need, we don't really need any of these provinces. Let's stop being silly. All right, so we want to take all this shit. Maybe all this shit. Maybe this shit. Oh, no, we want to. We want to humiliate him. Actually, yeah, we want to make sure we have room to humiliate. Okay, room to humiliate secured. Um, all treaties. Release nations, Norway. Uh, war reparations. Is there a difference between war reparations? Okay, so we could take... Could take a couple extra provinces off of them. Let's do that. Well, how, much, how much ag expansion is that going to be? 17.1 isn't actually that much. Date Hamburgian vassal. We could vassalize them. Now let's just straight annex. Fantastic. All right. So we have a new uh, little island here to help us with our Baltic power. Um, we can start converting some provinces, but I want to core them first. Starting with the biggest ones. And. We're going to send our fleet home. All right. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves here. And Sweden re-rivaled us. Damn it. Sweden. We could have been buds. We've been trying this whole time to be buds. You just don't want to be buds with us. They probably hate us because of aggressive expansion. Yeah, they want a whole bunch of our provinces. You can have these ones. We didn't take any of the Norwegian provinces. You can have those. We just want to dominate Baltic trade. That's all. Come on, guys. Revert Bornholm to Protestant. That's going to be high on our list. And our naval force limit is going to skyrocket. It's not that great right now because probably there's ridiculous amounts of autonomy in all the provinces we just conquered. But... Uh... Yeah, um, shouldn't have too much trouble with cultural tensions because we're already promoting Danish culture. So we're just going to have to convert them to Protestants. We're, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be that's gonna be necessary. Look at this nice central Protestant core here. These are some these are some nice ass religious borders. Holy shoot. Oh, no, that was already there. I, for some reason, like, when I had the religious map mode open, I was like, did the Ottomans conquer Bohemia? And I was like, no, just Hungary and the Black Sea coast, which they've had for ages. I cannot wait for those Ottoman nerfs coming in the next major patch. Anyway, that is going to be all for today. Um, we are going to uh, probably work on vassalizing some miners next time. Um... Sweden, jeez. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll expand into the Nordic countries. Who knows? Uh, maybe we'll just ally Russia and and uh, go whole hog against against uh, Sweden to Protestantize the Nordic countries. Since we already have Danish as an accepted culture, I believe we already. I believe we can promote. Yeah, we could promote Rhinish, Swedish, and Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> have like a northern north german nordic combined empire here but then that's then we have no buffer state against russia and 
I really don't want to fight that Russia. If you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, not really wanting to fight that that big ass Russia here. So we'll see. We'll 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 chip away at it. It's not even 1700 yet. We've got some time if we want to, you know, still try to form Germany or whatever. Um by the way, we haven't unlocked... Yeah, the Revolution Disaster doesn't unlock until the Age of Revolutions, but I, I think we are going to... Uh, Enlightenment, which happens after 1700, I believe, is when that institution can pop up. Yeah, 1700. So I think we're going to definitely try to be the Revolution target as well. That's going to do it for this episode. Check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We are at Lorsworn Order on Twitter. I am at AsaTJ. That is A S A T J. Um, subscribe to see more EU Force back. We're going to keep trying to do that five days a week. Um, and then we're going to have um, Stellaris running Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And. Uh, Warhammer is going to run Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for the time being. You probably already know this because I've recorded for so long that the episode you're watching now is going to come out after all this schedule stuff is already apparent. And anyway, we'll see you guys next time.